I'm officially 29 weeks pregnant. And I'm very, 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 very uncomfortable. And I'm dropping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so as you guys can see, I am 29 weeks pregnant. This is going to be a really short, sweet, to the point update. Well, I wait for my son to get off the bus. I wasn't even going to film this today, but I decided to do it anyway. First and foremost, I am very uncomfortable. Um, baby has started dropping. I know baby started dropping because my doctor told me yesterday that baby has started dropping. Um, we were not supposed to have an appointment yesterday, but the reason that I ended up having one was because, um, I've been having contractions six to seven minutes apart for the past three days and doctor doesn't seem too concerned about it. Just says, you know, keep hydrated, which I tried to. So, um, he did tell me, so I, I had an appointment yesterday because I called Monday they got me in. Um, they did a cervical check. I'm not dilated yet, which is fantastic. Thank gosh. Thank you, Lord. Um, but baby is head down. But that's not really a big deal for... It's not early for her to be head down. Usually around these next couple weeks is when, usually when they go head down. Um, so they did cancel my appointment for Monday just because there was really no point in keeping Monday's appointment because of having the appointment yesterday. So I don't go back again until November 5th and I will be exactly 31 weeks that day. So I'm getting excited, but I'm getting nervous. Like just the fact that we are 11 weeks away from our due date and she'll be here sooner than that because they're, they don't let me go to 40 weeks because of my gestational diabetes. I'm like getting nervous. I'm scared. I'm excited. Like I'm all the feels wholeheartedly. I am. Um, symptoms this week, nothing really. I'm exhausted, but that's because sleep is few and far between. I think I say this every week, so I'm sorry if it's sounding repetitive at this point. Um, I'm just exhausted and I'm very uncomfortable. Like I said, ever since the baby dropped. If you guys have watched since I started posting pregnancy updates on here, y'all can even tell that she's dropped and it's just uncomfortable, you know? Um, but other than that, I'm feeling good. Um, as far as like my weight is concerned with this pregnancy, um, I'm still yet to gain even 10 pounds. Um, I, when I went on October 14th, I had gained two pounds since I had been there in the past month. And then somehow over the past week, I dropped a pound. So I'm back to only gaining eight pounds this pregnancy, um, which is fine. The doctor's not concerned about it. And I think it's because let's just be real. I was a little overweight when I first got pregnant. So, um, Yeah, we weren't too concerned about that. But other than just like the back pressure, the back pain and the pelvic pressure from her dropping, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, no cravings. I'm not really feeling sick. I have had a headache. I've definitely gotten like some weird headache that's been an everyday thing. Um, and my blood sugars for the most part have been very manageable. They've been really good. Um... I am going to do a sit down video at some point. If it's not this week, it will be next week. I will do a sit down video talking about gestational diabetes and RH negative blood because I'm still yet to get my Rogam shot and I forgot to bring it up to my doctor yesterday. So I am going to bring it up to him at my next appointment um, because I think I'm right around that time for it. Obviously, they know better than we do, but I'm just going to ask just because, you know, I know it's coming. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If y'all can hear the fire alarm and stuff, I'm sorry. I am on my porch. Um, 
but that's it. Nothing really has changed. Nothing really to report. Um, other than that, she's dropped. She's head down. And like I said, I have not dilated yet. So that's a good thing. I'm very blessed and happy that she has not, that I have not started dilating yet. That was my biggest fear when the pelvic pressure started getting really strong and the contractions were coming every six to seven minutes. Um, and I'm still having contractions and I'm not talking Braxton Hicks. I do know the difference. This is not my first rodeo. So I do know the difference between Braxton Hicks and regular contractions. These are no Braxton Hicks. Yes, I get Braxton Hicks throughout the day, but the contractions that I've been feeling are not the Braxton Hicks that I, I know of. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. There really wasn't much to report this week, but I'm going to keep reporting to you guys until, well, baby girl's here. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to get, I think tomorrow I'm going to show you guys what is in her hospital bag. I don't have everything for my hospital bag yet, so I'm not going to show you guys my hospital bag yet, but I will show you guys what's in baby girls because baby girls is done. Hers is complete because I don't need to put a lot in it. The hospital provides us with most of what we need for her. Um, so I will be showing you guys, you guys that other than the, like the whole regular pregnancy update, I think another super big change that we that's happened this week is we installed her car seat. Her car seat is officially in our car, hooked up, ready to go just in case she decides that she wants to make her appearance, but her car seat is all ready to go. And that's, that's pretty much it. Nesting has begun completely. I've been saying that, but I feel like knowing that she's head down and she's in position and then with all the pressure that I've been having and continue to have, um, and the fact that in a couple of days I will be 30 weeks pregnant, I'm really prepping. Like I'm getting my butt in gear no matter how tired I am and I'm prepping for this girl. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go throw my jacket on. I'm gonna wait for my baby to get off the school bus. Um, you guys won't be seeing this until tomorrow. But by the time you see it, it'll be today. You guys are getting this you guys are getting this on Thursday. So technically when you guys see this, I will be 29 weeks and two days. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.